One day, we were sitting in the backyard, enjoying the sunshine and watching the birds flutter around. Suddenly, a small, fast-moving creature darted past. It was so tiny and quick that it was difficult to make out what it was. As it hovered in the air, its wings beat so quickly that they were a blur. We watched in amazement as it darted back and forth, sipping nectar from the flowers. It behaved like a hummingbird, so we assumed it was one since there had been others like this one in the garden before. Watching this little creature more closely, however, the differences became apparent. Its body seemed to be covered in a fine, fuzzy hair rather than feathers, and when it flew away, it didn't make the same whirring sound that a hummingbird's wings would. Intrigued, we did some research, looked up pictures of hummingbirds and moths, and turned to our trusty YouTube search to compare the little creatures. And to our surprise, we discovered that our visitor was not a hummingbird at all, but a type of moth known as a hummingbird moth. This discovery amazed us. For a long time, we considered moths to be drab, uninteresting insects, but this little creature had completely changed this perception. It was so beautiful and delicate, with its fast-moving wings and its long, curved proboscis. From that day on, hummingbird moths were on the watch list when admiring and inspecting the garden. Whenever there was one, this amazing creature had an audience. We watched in awe as it flitted from flower to flower. It was a small reminder that there was always something new to learn and discover, even in the most familiar of places. Here's how to tell hummingbird moths from real hummingbirds. Wings. Hummingbird moths have clear wings with black borders, while hummingbirds have feathered wings. Body. Hummingbird moths have a long, slender body with a furry thorax and a narrow abdomen, while hummingbirds have a small, compact body with feathers covering most of their body. Antenna. Hummingbird moths have long, curved antenna, while hummingbirds have none. Flight. This gets a bit confusing, so we'll skip this one. Behavior. Hummingbird moths feed on nectar from flowers using a long, curling proboscis, while hummingbirds use their straight beaks to feed on nectar or insects. If you observe the above characteristics, you can differentiate between a hummingbird moth and a real hummingbird. The larval stages of hummingbird moths are known as hornworms. They are large caterpillars that can grow up to 4 inches long, and have a distinctive horn-like projection on their rear end. Hornworms have a smooth, cylindrical body with longitudinal stripes running down their sides. Their skin can be green, brown, or black, depending on the species. And they have a segmented body with six true legs and several prolegs, which are fleshy, leg-like appendages found on the abdomen. Hornworms are known for their voracious appetites, and can consume entire leaves and stems of plants. They can cause significant damage to crops and gardens, and are considered a pest in many regions. Despite their destructive feeding habits, hornworms play an important role in the ecosystem as a food source for birds and other predators. When fully grown, they pupate in the soil or leaf litter, eventually emerging as adult sphinx moths, more commonly known as hummingbird moths. Hummingbird moths, also known as sphinx moths, are a type of moth that are often mistaken for hummingbirds due to their similar appearance and behavior. Hummingbird moths have a stout body with narrow wings that beat rapidly, allowing them to hover in place while feeding on nectar from flowers. They have a long, thin tongue called a proboscis that they use to probe deep into the flowers to extract nectar. Their wingspan can range from 2 to 6 inches depending on the species, and they are typically brown or gray with stripes or spots. Hummingbird moths are important pollinators, and can be found in many parts of the world, including North America, Europe, and Asia. They are active during the day, and can often be seen hovering around flowers, especially in sunny areas. They are more commonly seen during the daytime. Hummingbird moths lay their eggs on the leaves of plants, and the larvae, known as hornworms, feed on the foliage. After pupating, the adult moths emerge and continue the cycle of pollination and reproduction.
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode.